Leaking of the protein albumin into the urine is very often the first sign of kidney damage in diabetes. So it's really important to test the urine for protein for albumin. It is best to have an early morning urine sample because in some people, even moving from sitting to standing up can increase the amount of albumin leaking in the urine. So yes, an early morning urine sample is best. But if the person comes to clinic and hasn't bought, brought a urine, an early morning urine sample, then collecting a sample in clinic is better than nothing at all. Because if that sample is negative, then the early morning urine sample would be negative and we just need to screen again in another year. If a sample collected in clinic is positive, then yes, we should go back and this time make sure that we collect an early morning urine sample and repeat the measurement of the albumin in the urine in that early morning urine sample. Any test is much better than no test, but the early morning urine sample is the gold standard. Yes, I think it's really important that people with diabetes understand the complications that can develop if diabetes care isn't as good as it needs to be. And one of those important complications is kidney disease. Uh, so it's really important that they understand that managing glucose is important. The better the glucose control, the lower the chances of developing kidney disease. But it's about much more than glucose. It's also really important to ensure that people know that the lower the blood pressure, the less chance of developing kidney disease, and probably also the lower the cholesterol, non-smoking, taking exercise, keeping weight down, are also really important factors in preventing kidney disease. There is a very close link between kidney disease and cardiovascular disease. People with any evidence of kidney disease, whether it's leaking albumin into the urine or an abnormal kidney blood test, have a higher chance of heart attacks and strokes than someone with normal kidney tests. Uh, so again, it's really important for the person to understand that and to know that we have to think about kidneys but also about heart attacks and strokes. And again, the things that we can do to try to stop kidney disease developing and progressing are also the things which are good at reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease and stroke. So again, thinking about blood glucose, yes, but also more widely about blood pressure control, cholesterol levels, and really importantly, not smoking.